I do not know this band one bit. I have found out from my research that they're Canadian ah. and they're a country bands. I had no idea that there were so many Canadian country bands. I really thought it was a US thing, but I was completely wrong. And it was originally written by Lou Reed, this song, and he loves this version. So let's give it a listen. So, this band is all made up of the Timmins family. And it's Margot, Margot Timmins, the sister, of course, on vocals. six children so they had a lot of choice for that. <laughs> and um, their grandfather was a mining mogul who founded this town of Timmins. Oh, it's about to start. I love that huskiness she has. It's very understated at the moment, very spoken. I can't wait until she lets rip a little bit to kind of hear what really goes on. But it's really interesting because the brothers, Peter and Michael Timmons, um, started the band and they wanted their sister to sing. They grew up with her and they knew she could sing, but she was actually um, studying in social work and was working as a secretary and was like, oh no. And at first she was really shy. They really had to ask her to be part of it and were like, please, please, please. And she gave it a go and at first she was nervous, but then she found that it just started to flow from her and people really, really received it well. And um, the rest is history. I am so glad. It's amazing how some, you know, I bet we all know someone who's got a hidden singing talent. A lot of people, a lot of people sing well that we don't realize. Waiting there for him to come back home. Waiting down on the corner. It's got so much warmth. I love the accordion. Reminds me of Scotland. An unusual combination. Constructed. 
you know. I'm really enjoying this combination of accordion, of all this slide guitar, and um, it has this real kind of earthy Pink Floyd feel. Then you've got the accordion over the top. It makes it feel really organic and like, you know, if, if you've been in, I don't know, New York or um, any big city where they have jam nights, it makes you feel like a jam night where, you know, people kind of come in with the instrument that they really know and there's a band that are, are really, really solid and really good and people kind of join in with their own versions. It feels very nuanced and improvised and fluid and, and beautiful like that. It's like people are just feeling the vibe. I love it. It makes me want to do like woo, snakey dances. Okay, so there, instead of anyone's ever had a dream, and notice this before, she's singing using the n mm sound a lot. Anyone has ever had a dream? Kind of using that to scoop up, and it gives it this unusual, slight nasality, but her natural tone and her natural placement is really warm without nasality, so it just gives it a little bit of bite really I think in those moments I love how scoopy she is it means it has this really organic feel it has this feeling of movement and you're having that a lot in the instrumentation there everything is very fluid and 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 oozy and that is echoed in her voice as well she never kind of so like even there, anyone has ever been? All these notes have little scoops on it. It's not like anyone has ever been. She's not a robot. It's really, a, you know, there are some types of singing where exact pitching is what is required. And it's not that it isn't exact. Her scoops are perfectly timed so that you're hearing it as the pitch, but it still has this kind of movement in pitch and movement in dynamic at all points. And these kind of micro dynamics or what people call phrasing is, is really, really brilliant here. She, you know, each phrase moves and gets louder and quieter and she just, the most important thing with phrasing, everyone has their own patterns and remembering that we don't speak like robots. We're not going to be like, anyone ever have a dream? We'd be like, anyone ever have a dream? You might emphasize different words or you the way that we move, uh, you might put a bit of breath on, for example. Her is, it's, it's just beautiful. She's really great at that. Yeah. Yeah, I was waiting for that. 
See what's brilliant is that because she's kept everything very understated, sometimes even very spoken, when she has a big moment, it doesn't have to be that big. Often people start where she's at her loudest, biggest moment, and then you have nowhere to go when you want those big moments within the song. It meant that she had so far that she could go. Um, and then she doesn't have to completely blow out her vocal cords. She doesn't have to like really push. She just goes to a nice, a nice solid place. See, it's almost spoken in these places. That was a voice that is all about tone and it really matched with the whole vibe of the band. It felt so organic, so natural, beautiful. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.